So, if you want to be his girlfriend and he wants to be your boyfriend, what's the problem? He also plays baseball, and this weekend, I have to pitch against him. Yeah? So? So if I strike him out, he might get mad and break up with me. <laughs> Why would he do that? I sure got a bunch of boys. They all get real mad. You gonna pitch bad to him on purpose? I was thinking about it. That is not what you are gonna do. You are gonna do your best. And if you strike him out, he will respect you for it. I don't know. When I struck out Brian Morgan, he cried. Now everyone calls him crying Brian. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Thanks, I started it. So, you playing the Tigers on Saturday? Should be an easy win. Their best player's parents are getting a divorce. He's pretty distracted. Well, there's a lucky break. I just hope it drags on through the playoffs. So how you feel about not pitching Missy? Why would I do that? Well, she's growing up and she's going through some new stuff. Oh, I don't want to hear about that. No, no, no. She's, she's got a crush on a boy on the other team and she's worried that if she strikes him out that it'll embarrass him. Well, it's too bad. She's our pitcher. She's going to do her job. Well, she's also an 11-year-old girl with big feelings. And I'm a cranky old man with no feelings. Well, I've always thought that underneath that tough exterior, there was a shred of compassion. Yeah, I know what you're doing. What am I doing? You're using your feminine wiles to get your way. <laughs> Smart and handsome. You forgot tall. Hey, uh, Cooper, you know, I think I'm going to have you sit this one out and let Powell pitch. Really? Yeah. Kind of like to save your arm for the playoffs, OK? OK. Do you want to save my arm, too? No. How about my legs? You know, Billy, you never fail to brighten my day. Cool. House music.